my stamping friends this is oksana from funstamper.com and right now is wednesday march 6 6 p.m march 6 at 6 and it's time for funky wednesday as always i will give you a, it a second for everybody to find me and pop up in a feed if you see me please say hi i see sherry um and we will get started. We're gonna play with new uh, Simply Zinnias, I hope I pronounce it correctly, new bundle that just debuted yesterday in a store. So I thought let's just um, feature that one. I actually wanted to play with that for a long time, but I did play with coffee one, and I cut so many different flowers from designer paper to use on swaps. But I actually didn't create card till last night. Because last night, actually one of my friends, stamping friends, said that they really like that bundle. And I'm like, okay, let's just feature it and see and play. So I play it last night. I play with um, all the products in that bundle a little bit. Um, and I was addicted. So today we're going to make two cards, slightly different than that one. Let me show you this fold. This fold was we did this fold at my lavender class this weekend so i'm just recreating it with different bundle but it's not only just a card it's also little gifts so if you're a gardener check it out so this is a card it has little stopper it opens like that feature beautiful designer paper okay and you open it inside and it has a pocket for seeds check it out isn't that cool i did actually bought some of those seeds um just for that particular purpose before and i'm like we will use them so this is the card we're gonna make but first let me show you the zinnia, zinnia so you could kind of have an idea and i also wanted to give you uh, tips and tricks especially for die cutting flowers um, when I started to play last night, I was a little frustrated because it didn't really work for me for some reason, right? I could not understand. And then I just played with it. I didn't even watch anybody's video. Uh, so I wanted to, sh to share how I made it. So first, let me show you what we're going to use. So we're going to use Simple Zinnia stamp set. Really beautiful stamp set. Nice for coloring. Um... So here is the image, as you could see, I did play. It's, you know, super easy to color, different colors. I did play a little bit with bigger flower um, as well. And dice, actually, actual embossing folder, 3D embossing folder, super cool. So this is embossing folder. Hope you see some texture here. But the magic is the dice. I love when dice actually have not just your normal kind of cutting images like this one right and stamped leaves but also have dies that you could create so this is all the dies that coming so some of them just cut outlines which is super simple right um but the magic is actually in other dies and you could see those two it's kind of looks super similar right there is two of those then um this is the center and this is kind of like little halo i don't know how to call that and also some of the dice like just to cut leaves and it's embossing the leaves and little flowers so let me show you what i did so yesterday i created a card just to try and i like it i use it four different flowers to make it it seems the zinnia is much more fuller but so today in the morning i could not stop so i decided to create flowers in different colors so here is the flower in flirty flamingo highland hazard gorgeous grape berry burst um mango melody no melon mambo Daffodil Delight, and this is Mango Melody's retired color. I just have a piece. And I'm like, Oksana, I need to stop. <laughs> you cannot just go and keep creating. But like, I'm like, 
how it's going to look with a bubble bath and with this one that. I will still play, but I create those flowers. And then you could create those little tiny ones that go with, um, and you have a stem and some leaves. So leaves you could do stamped or you could be just other one. Look how cute. It's already super cool. So you're going to use one of the flowers, but let me show you how I assemble the flowers. So if you like me, if you like to die cut a bunch of stuff and then sit and assemble, um, this bundle is gorgeous and definitely will make your life easier. So for this one, this is what we're going to use. So we're going to use um, Melon Mambo. And we're going to use that little halo. It's from Bubble Bath. And I'm using the centers. And this is Daffodil Delight. Probably could be different combination. I saw in the samples that people kind of mixing and matching. I'm not 100% sure I like the look. I kind of like flower, the same color. But, you know, again, I didn't really play that much. I still room for improvement. So let me show you how to assemble the flower. Um, you possibly could go with less layers than four, but I really like the look. So you, there is dyes that kind of have a much bigger center. So I kind of think it's your um, base. And then two other more intricate ones, it's your top. This is kind of how I doing it. It's possibly other ways. If you're going to have this bundle and if you're going to figure it out, let me know. So I just overlap slightly so you have more kind of depths, right, to create a fuller flower. So I did first three layers just with the glue, just flat. Uh, I didn't want it to be too, like, poppy uppy. I want it to be a little bit kind of more friendly. I, mean, I kind of turn it around to see which way I like, so it's kind of cr goes in between. And didn't like that one. Let's see. So you could kind of play to create, but at the end it's going to work out no matter what. And then I liked that last one to, to be on dimensional. So it's that layer is a little separated. I probably will play with, you know, more dimensionals. But for now, this is kind of how I created all of them. And it's look pretty, but after you put the center, this is where magic comes. So you just put that center. It's possibly have directions. I don't know. And then you put that little halo. And that is your flower. Isn't that pretty and so 3D? Add a couple leaves. You could do it on a bags and so seems you know i absolutely love uh even so like i was mentioning i was a little frustrated yesterday because i was just thought it's gonna be just two layers and didn't really work out so so this is the flower all right so now we're gonna go and do our fold so we're gonna feature the paper and I will teach you how to do that fold and include some little packaging seeds. So here is a designer paper. And designer paper is absolutely gorgeous. Um, you could just use the designer paper and don't worry about cards. Like this one, I will have a hard time to, to pick because I like this side, but I also like um, Lemon Lime Twist. This one, we're actually going to use a little bit of this bright pattern it's gorgeous but it's you know it's super bright other side is more toned we're gonna use this pattern it just basically they say in the design it so you could cut a piece and put a flower look at that you just cut a piece put a flower and you already have you don't even need to stamp anything so and other side is really cool too this one i already used two sheets but I actually just what I did, I just fussy cut with my friend Monica. She come one day and she helped me a little bit of fussy cutting. So this one, I don't know if my uh, purple going to see the light because I'm probably going to use this one just for cut fussy cutting. This one is super pretty. Melon Mambo. Little tiny zinnias. 
and that's all. All right, so let's get started with, where is my magical tray here? With all the flowers, we're gonna use those. And let's see what we need for that card. So this is the card. And we're gonna need a piece of card stock. And it's a long one. So you're gonna use five and a half by 11. I will have downloadable free PDF Friday on my blog with all the instructions and close up pictures. So you don't need to write it down, but you could always rewatch the video. So we also need two pieces of white. <laughs> Look, I have my zinnias, right? To put it in a pocket. So I need to have two pieces of white, uh, one for outside and one for inside. This is a gorgeous paper. This is four by five and a quarter. This one cut a little bit smaller. Then I will need, where is my here? Some other things as well, just to assemble my card in a pocket. So let's just start scoring and then it, everything gonna make sense. Yeah, I'm not sure we're going to make this card in a class, but I will come up with something with a seed. You know me, I don't like to make the same kind of fold in multiple classes. But I thought this one I, will, I could teach not only you ladies uh, who attended classes, but everybody. So take a scoring tool. The easiest way so you don't cut any pieces will be shift your cardstock just little tiny bit so it's not all the way see it's not all the way i want that piece actually be, will be slightly smaller than four and a quarter so the easiest one is what i did for class i just shifted a little bit like little hair and then you score it at four and a quarter and eight and a half okay so that's all for that scoring packaging is going here and you're gonna fold doesn't matter which way see what I'm why it was smaller so when I fold it's not kind of bulging if it's kind of bulging a little bit you just snip the piece right so this is the fold and you could probably leave it like that but I wanted it angled so what I did I position from that score line my cardstock and I put a tick mark at one inch okay then I have layers so imagine if I would not really cut it in angle I have my layers so this one is two and a quarter by five and a quarter and this one is two one eighths by five one eighths I like small borders so I do a lot with eights right so we're gonna do the same we're gonna put a tick mark but slightly different now from this corner i'm gonna put a tick mark and i probably need to go to other side ladies uh, i'll show you in a second because this this one doesn't have i didn't realize doesn't have uh, eights i guess we could estimate it's like i want a seven eights kind of in between so let's just do that so i kind of mark it seven eights so i go one eight smaller than previous one and i put this one and i mark it three fours Okay, then I'm gonna take my cutter and I'm gonna cut each piece from the tick mark to from that tick mark. And you use any cutter. I like this cutter the best. Old stamping up one, so it's working. I just align in my corner. Hope you see it. See, I align this tick mark with the corner. And if it's not gonna be perfect, we're gonna always. one tick mark and I do have kind of tip how to save the paper but I will need to watch, do a separate video and it's not gonna work with this paper because it has directions but if it's just normal pattern this is what I did for my class this one so let's just check to make sure we have a nice border yeah looked nice and we do exactly the same here so this card definitely could be gift card holder that particular fold 
a lot you can do. Um, and that extra piece that left, the long one, we're gonna make another card. Um, also funky fold. Okay, I'm putting that one away. And this one will be as simple as start assembling your card. Just a gluing. So two pieces of white. And you could probably put designer paper, you could decorate here. For the sake of the video, I'm doing it much faster, right? So you just glue your designer paper. I love this pattern. Look, it's just, it just gorgeous on its own. I almost feel guilty. I do have three packs of the paper because I bought it for, for swaps. So. so this one goes here. So on that flap. And we're definitely going to use the Aeneas in my wine class, but I'm not sure if it's gonna be this month or next month. So my local peeps, stay tuned. You will see me using it. I like to use what I really love, and I do really love this one and coffee. So, all right, so we're gluing this piece. And I'll show you which cards we created at my lavender class so the same fold but definitely look different because of the patterns are not that bold and different decoration so paper has a lot of colors so it's also nice because you could match to any cardstock you possibly have so it has um Highland Hazard and Gorgeous Grape and Flirty Flamingo and mm, Melon Mambo and Pumpkin Pie and Two Greens. I mean, you name it, it has it. <laughs> so uh, I'm not going to stamp inside, but you could basically stamp and decorate. Maybe you'll add extra flowers. I just wanted to show you how we assemble. And I saw this fold online. I really like it. The only difference that... Uh, that person, when she made it, Jamie, her name, really talented stamper, um, it was not closing. So it was just kind of, see, like, oh, um, mine needs to close. And so for, we using just a strip of paper, four inch, I think by one and a half or two inches, it doesn't matter. We're going to create little pocket. Yeah, some of you who, just picked up the kids and I know um, I mailed all my kids yesterday and sent instructions to my long distance customers. They already received them. I looked, it's, it's amazing. It's probably need to make sure it's glued, but this is, you got the idea. So you, you're going to put your zinnias and you could decorate. But so this is the fold, right? So now, and for this card, we actually going just with paper. So this is what I was telling you, what we sit and did. We were just cutting a bunch of them. So I want to find some smaller flower to be a stopper and some bigger flower to kind of be, let's see. And I want a full flower, I don't want a half flower. Choices, right? So I use pink flower here. Let's do, let's go with purple. How about that? So kind of like that, right? And I want to find a small flower and I know I have it just single flower. If not, I'll, I'll cut it to be a, my little stopper. If I don't have one, I need to cut really quickly. Yeah, all that one. But now after creating all this zinnias in different, this one is cute too, in different colors, now I'm thinking, hmm, maybe I'm just gonna, for my swap, instead of using those paper flowers, I will use another one. And you let you let me know which look you like more um, as far as... Again, I'm not doing really fancy cutting leaving small edge and, and I like that this smaller flower on the paper kind of match the design 
So when I put that one in the corner, see here, it, it looks like it's belong here, right? Maybe I need to get my white out. Again, we're going to go for fast. Okay. So this is going to be our stopper. Now let's stamp a sentiment. So I pre-cut the label. Um, and I one in case I mess up and I pre-cut two green labels. You will see why. So I'll take this one and let's do it with purple. So I wonder, because we're going to use purple, let's see how it's going to go with gorgeous grape. I should say gorgeous grape. And I love that that paper has so many different colors. Then you could pick up color from any. Make sure I'm not gonna mess up. Lightly, one, two, three, done. Words fail to express my gratitude. And as I have it here, I have a strip and I wanna stamp this one saying, sending flowers and thinking of you. How appropriate to put it inside for the package. And I'm stamping it in, in the same color. Let's see if I could do straight. Yep. That work out great. All right. Now we just need to put stuff together and we will be done. So I like borders. I mean, white looks good, but... You know, we just wanted to jazz it up. And the next bigger die is a little bit too big to fit. So I'm cutting. And because I'm cutting, and if I'm going to open, I'm going to see that. Uh, this is why I have second one to cover. There's a glimmer paper. It's one of my boxes that just came, so I didn't pull it. But I think if you add some glimmer paper... So if you're going to go to Stamping Up website, under Shop Products, there is a button or category called Online Exclusives. So all these products are not part of the catalog. So it's not a printed publications, but it's there. Um, beautiful. People now posting pictures with Magnolia. And I'm like, okay, if I'm going to pick Zinnias... I'm not picking magnolias. People posting it's so pretty. I'm like, oh my gosh. Um, just so many. I didn't expect that they're going to have so many awesome, awesome offering. It's appeal to me. So we're going to put this one. And we're going to put dimensionals. But we only want our dimensionals on this side. So let me put just two dimensionals. Hopefully it's going to be enough. So as you could see for this card, what we decided to use, we decide, we're only using flowers that were on from designer paper. So if you decide you only want a designer paper, perfect. You will be fine using it, just designer paper. Um, let's see. I want a, bit, a little bit higher because I want to stop or lower. Also, I like to use dimensionals because you could pull it up easier or cut them. Should have probably let me think here. I want that flower be my stopper, so a little bit higher. So I wanted to put that flower with dimensionals just lightly overlap so when you could kind of close the card. This is what I mean under stopper. So that's kind of adjustment to all the cards I added for that fold that you could tackle in and it stay nicely closed. And when you open, you see the surprise inside. Just little tiny bit, you know, overlapping. See, and it's good enough to hold. And now we're going to put this flower and the card will be completed. What do you think about this fold? This fold could be for weddings. Hint, hint to some of my friends. <laughs> um, because you could also talk, you know, use check or money or gift card. And let's put a couple bling. 
and maybe ribbon. I put ribbon here. So as you could see, they are, looks really, really similar. Um, I use a bling. It's from Lavender Sweet. It's like I was saying, whatever is right now on my um, desk I'm using. So let me use darker colors. Still unpacking from classes. So I don't even know where my U pick tool is. I'm a messy stamper. Wish my craft room clean itself. That would be nice. All right. So we done. So we just reminder if you just join us, we created a little Zinnia pocket card with seeds inside. And the seeds, um, Dollar Tree has four for a dollar perfect gift so this card is done and then after we created this particular fold we will have a strip left and this is what I decided to use from a strip I did it yesterday in different orientations that we did at class so this is what we what I did one and we really wanted to use that kind of bright paper this is my other option this this flower is actually stamped and colored um, and we're gonna use something similar so let's see what supplies we need and you will vote which color of flower we want to use and i think any of them will will work let me find my supplies so i'll put the colors that I think will be pretty. And you will tell me, I kind of want a purples. So you want a darker purple, you want a lighter purple, you want a melon mambo. You let me know. And I will start putting the card together and you please leave me a comment and ask which one we will use. Yeah, I guess. You could do Flirty Flamingo as well, but it's lighter one. We're not going to use uh, Berry Burst because I already use it. I want to see how it's, that fold look for, with different cards. So for this card, I need just a quarter sheet of paper. So this is four and a quarter by five and a half. Again, I will post PDF. Uh, you will see everything uh, on Friday and you could download and store it. One... Or a quarter inch smaller piece, four by five and a quarter. Instead of using all the designer paper, like big sheets, we're going to be saving because we wanted to create as many cards as we want, right? And we hoard designer paper. So this is a bright designer paper. It's one and a quarter by um, three, seven, eights. So tiny border, like tiny borders, right? So this is how we're going to glue. Then we have eight eight and a half by three. This is basically left over from this card. So this is gonna make like full sheet. In addition, I need another piece three by four and a quarter and some decoration. So here is my gonna be my inside. Here is gonna be this, I use that beautiful embossed piece and some pieces for our stopper and labor. So, Melon, people saying, let's see if I comment some um, light purple melon. All right, okay. Any other votes as I'm gluing it and, and showing? You still have a couple minutes to pick your favorite. So, that piece we're gonna do just minor scoring, pretty easy to score. So, we're gonna score at half, which is four and a quarter. I did slightly different that we did on a, in a class um, as far as the measurements. And here we're going to do two in, a, in one eighth. So basically half and then half of the half. And that's, that's all scoring. Melon, haha, -ha, melon is winning. Even it's something interesting. I absolutely love the flower in um, Melon Mambo. I didn't use it for some time. 
the actual ink pad. So let's start gluing and then we're gonna assemble the flower. So we're gonna glue both pieces to, to our white and leave little border. Okay. That, that side is pretty as well. And this one. This fold is super fast and simple and effective. Just center easel so it's not nothing nothing super new. I just making this one particularly because it's that piece is just a leftover, so both cards kind of use one sheet of paper, so it's easy to do. And this one gonna go in the middle to cover our white. Okay. This one is our sand middle middle to write a greeting and put our little sentiment for a stopper. And this card also comes very fast together. And here is my embossed piece. So it's two three fours by four. I actually emboss bigger piece and cut it in half and it's perfect for two cards. The folder is big, six by six, I believe. Okay, hold on. Oh no, <laughs> we're putting it here. And then for this one, see, we kind of do it little easel. Then you're gonna apply glue only to this portion. Okay, so this is your easel. Let's do a little stamping. Um, I'm using, well, we need to go with purple because I cut this one. <laughs> I could recut pink, but. Uh, for those who said ma melon mambo, I will do another card and post it. How about that? Uh, so we're gonna stamp a sentiment. Um, I could do thank you from that is coming in this set, but I will use a perennial postage. It has a lot of cool sayings. Um, I like the sending love and best wishes. Uh, could be for many occasions as well. And I'm actually need a um, birthday card for this weekend. And I think that person like, likes purple. So let's go with purple. And we're gonna take gorgeous grape. And stamp. Good enough. Sometimes when font is kind of cursive, it throws you off which how to align. So, and I matted this one on a slightly bigger piece. I think it's two and a half by one, five eighths. And this one, we're gonna put dimensionals and this is gonna be your stopper. We just put three dimensionals. I could put more. And it's interesting, like for this card, I think actually you could see there's purple here is um, melon mambo anything will work so here is your stopper just crease really nicely and it's gonna stay let's just need to tell you that next week I actually travel on Wednesday 
think this time I'll be in Orlando airport. Um, I'm going to stamping up on stage and uh, following day I'm going to see the catalog. So it's super exciting. So Facebook live, I will let you know, is it going to be pre-recorded? Oh, I'm going to do it on Tuesday. I have really cool um, fold done with coffee, Co uh, new bundles that coming. So um, watch Monday, I will let you know, we'll see if I'll be able to pack and do everything. Ooh, look at the purple. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Choices, right? If you're gonna have oh I like this one too. How about this one and the darker little one? Let's do that. So and stem a little bit long for this particular fold. So let me let me glue it. So I'm just gonna glue it here. And I'm going to cut. All right. And because it's already kind of like 3D, I'm not going to, I'm actually not going to put it on dimensionals, but it's, it's up to you. You know, if it, I ever decide to mail this card, I think it's already pretty tall. So I'm kind of, Put it in an angle like that. And the stem is a little bit too long. Oh, I forgot my sentiment for other one. We will, we will take the other card. All right. So then we're gonna, let's just switch it up, do a different direction. And this one's leave I stamped and, and die cut. So for the sake of the video. I'm not going to make you watch how to stamp and cut. But I hope you learn a couple tricks how to put this zinnia flower. If you find better way, I'm going to play with that. Um, you see if I could go away, do away with three um, layers, but I think four. It's just such a full, beautiful flower. So I hope that zinnia is on your wish list. It's such a nice and, and bold and fun. All right, so that's it. And we will need to find the bling. Oh, I'm so happy I didn't lose anything yet on my table normally. By that time. I'm already losing stuff. I just put in a few of them here and then I'll decide if I want an extra uh, bow or not. Let's just fix our pocket ones that we just made. All right, let's put those ones. They're going to go to good use. I'm going to use them. And for this one, I just wanted to put here on the pocket to have... Exactly for inches. Is this, is this for inches? Yes. Okay. And it says sending flowers and thinking of you. I think it's just so cool that it has this one in, in a package. All right, let me know what you think. Leave me a comment. Share the video. It helps me out. And I hope you got some ideas with that particular bundle. Or oh, stay tuned, I'll show you my lavender class if you would like to. And this is the one that we made. Here is another one. Here is my test one that I made yesterday. You will see all the pictures on my blog. But it's a lot of zinnia that I play with. And here is the long one. So, not sure which one I like more. Long one or short one. Obviously, for this one, if you don't want to go with 
that particular flower you could just stamp and use the three smaller zinnias. I think they're super pretty. So this is the zinnias class. If you would like to to buy this one, visit my funstamper.com shop now. And it's an online exclusive. And let me show you. This is where this fold, I, I case it myself. And this is where the class we did. So this is a particular card I cased. So as you could see, it has completely different look, different, completely different vibe, right? The way, how you, what paper you use. And I use a bat butterfly as a little stopper. And it opens like that. And has a lavender so this is my kind of inspiration and i also designed because i had so many three inch strip so not to waste the paper this is what i designed with the lavender and so this is the card and here's a few more cards five cards total so it's a lot of fun they're making i still have one kit available um I always cut one extra and wait until everybody receives in cases get lost in the mail, so I don't need to cut. Um, if you're interested, let me know. So for those who are about to make those, kids went, and hope you're going to have a good time. Please leave me a comment which card you like the best. Do you like a stamped zinnia, colored one, cut from paper, or just made from the dies? Thank you so much for watching. It was fun playing with you. And until then, happy stamping. Bye.